Konnichiwa everybody and welcome to the class. I hope that you are all enjoying the class and learning something new every day and using it in conversation. So, please try to use as much as you can whatever you have done in class. Practice with your friends, practice with your partners and try to do as much Japanese as you can. Well, now before I actually start with the lesson, as always we will first do our assignments, go over the assignments and then learn something new today as well. So, well the first assignment that I gave you was write opposites and make sentences with the words given below. So, well there are a lot of uh, words here, you have done the words, you know the words, you need to learn them with their opposites. Naka, soto and it is also given in hiragana, ue, shita as you already know, urusai which is not a very pleasing sound, urusai is a noise, opposite is shizuka. Sumetai, sumetai is cold in touch and atatakai is warm. Muzukashi, a mondai can be muzukashi, a problem can be muzukashi, a person can also be muzukashi and opposite is kantan. Kantan is easy. Shiroi, of course, the opposite for shiroi we all know is kuroi, which is black. Ushiro, and the opposite is mai. Atsui, as in weather. Samui is the opposite. Nagai and mijikai. This is for length, nagai as in long, and mijikai as in short, oki and chisai, this is size. So, all hiragana is given over here. We have done some of the kanji characters also, for example, naka, soto, ue, shita, shiroi and oki, chisai. So, some of the kanjis we have done, some we will do now. Well, match kanji in group A with group B, readings are given over here. This is assignment 2 for you. Let us see what we have in the first one. Hyakuen, kazan and it is interesting, this is he, this is yama which is a mountain. So, a mountain, a fire mountain would naturally be a kazan which is a volcano. Well, Honda, Chugoku, Yojikan, Kan is time, period or span. Sanense, Gogo, Kyujitsu, Deguchi and so, well, this is your kanji. I hope you got it right. Now, we had two sentences in this and you were to join the sentences with kute. So, basically with I adjectives. Kono ringo wa aka kute, amai this, akai is red, amai is sweet. So, it is red and sweet. Then we have chikatetsu wa yasukute hayai desu. It is cheap and fast. Kyo wa isogashikute taihen desu. Very, very busy and extremely difficult to manage. Taihen is degree of something. Taihen means very. Then we have kyoshitsu wa hirokute 
akarui desu. Hiroi is big, spacious, and akarui is bright. Dores wa atarashikute kawaii. Mariko wa kirei de shinsetsu desu. So now you can see we were combining I adjectives over here and now we have two na adjectives over here. So well, kirei de shinsetsu desu. When you join two na adjectives, de is to be used. Michi wa benri de hiroi desu. It is a convenient and big huge road. Again, de because this is a na adjective. Now, na adjective is being combined with i adjective. So, you will see that the first adjective changes and the second one remains as it is. That has to be kept in mind. Now, fill in the blanks with proper verb forms. Well, let us see what it is. Watashi wa kono kaban o kaimasen deshita. Haha ni moratta or moraimashita. We did it in our previous lessons. We have done moraimas, agimas, itadakimas, sashi agimas, kudasaimas, and kuremas. So, well, haha ni moraimashita. From haha, you can also put haha kara moraimashita instead of ni. Tanaka san wa watashi ni ningyo o kureta or kure mashita. He gave it to me. One san ni kono shosetsu o moraimashita. Moratta. One san ni. Again, the subject over here is understood. This is a general practice in Japanese. Even while talking, you do not say the subject again and again. It is generally understood. Kino tomodachi kara akai shatsu o moraimashita or moratta. Mariko san, kodomo wa doko ni imasu ka? Denwa de oshiete kudasai. Please tell Please tell me. Then wa de. So you have done kudasai. You can use te kudasai over here. Watashi no imoto wa Tanaka sensei kara omoshiroi hon o itadakimashita or itadaita. For sensei, itadaita. Kanai no okasan wa watashi ni takai seita o kuremashita or kureta. Niugaku shiki ni Nani o moratta ka? Nani o moraimashita ka? Can be used. Well, practice how to request people to do something for you. So, we have this picture over here. Koko ni kaite kudasai. We have done this te kudasai form, which is a request. You make a request to do something for you. So, well, there is another one. He is going over to the post office. This sign signifies it is a post office. And posto ni irete kudasai. Please put it. Then we have someone making something. Chef probably or maybe just otosan is making something at home. And gohan o tsukutte kudasai. So, this is a request. To please make food. He is sitting on the chair about to sit. So, dozo swatte kudasai. Dozo over here is request or actually permission to do as the verb is saying. And over here he is standing up. So, well, dozo tatte kudasai. Please stand up. So, this was your assignment. Well, there is another one over here. Match group A with group B and make proper sentences. So, well, these are all jumbled up over here and let us see what it is. Baste wa ginko no mai ni arimasu. Wa and ni. Ni over here is for arimasu. 
which shows place ni arimas shows something is there at a certain point or location. Terebi no ue ni nanatsu ringo ga arimasu ka? Watashi wa kyonen kazoku to ryoko o shimashita. Kazoku to issho ni can also be added over here. Issho ni ryoko o shimashita. That makes it very very clear. Kodomo wa kouen de asobitaku nai desu. Asobitai is I want to do. Asobitaku nai is I do not want to do whatever the verb is saying. Anata wa donna kuruma o kaitai desu ka? Donna over here is what type of or which kuruma o kaitai desu ka? Uchi wa kirei de rippa desu. I just explained de is to be used with na adjectives. So, uchi wa kirei de rippa desu. You can also say uchi wa kirei de rippa na uchi desu. So, when you are going to add a noun then after na adjectives na is going to be put over here. So, that has to be kept in mind. Rao san wa ototoshi Yoroppa e ikimashita. Also you can say itte kimashita. He has been or he went. Taro kun wa hitori de ikitakunai. You can leave it here informal and you can also add ikitakunai this over here which makes it formal. Ginko wa ano renga no biru no Tonari desu. Ginko is a bank. Ano over here shows that the subject is known to the speaker and the listener both. So, ginko wa ano renga, brick no, biru no, building no, tonari next to this. Also for this you can replace this with arimasu. Tonari ni arimasu. Well, the last one is Ryoshin wa Indo no ega o mitai desu. They want to see. So, well, this is your assignment. And now we have a lot of things to do today. But before I actually start on what is given over here, I want to tell you something that we had done yesterday. Well, yesterday we did te form of the verb. If you remember, verb in te form. And I had explained group 2, how to make te form for group 2. Simple, ta, be, ru, Miru, neru. You can remove this over here and put te or tabemas, mimas or nemas. You can remove these three and put te form. And you can add kuda sai. So, tabete kuda sai. Mite kudasai, nete kudasai. That is what we had done. I also told you that in group 1 there are a lot of exceptions and because of that group 1 becomes a little difficult to remember and to make the te form. Now, what I will do over here is I will explain how to make group 1. Now, you know the te form for group 1. You are a little familiar with that you will be able to grasp it easily now. We have in group 1 verbs like uru, gambaru, suwaru as you did just now, swatte kudasai. 
then sawaru hakaru all these verbs you will see end in ru or u most of the verbs in group 1 will end in u or in ru over here all of them end in ru so what you do is you remove the ru from here and put t t e if you remember i had told you group 1 is t t e and group 2 is t so well this is how you would make for the normal group 1 verbs now i had also told you last time in your previous class that there are a lot of exceptions all verbs ending in their dictionary form in ku gu bu su mu nu su and two vowels so all verbs in dictionary form in their plain form if they end in any of these over here then they will not follow this pattern they will have a different pattern i did introduce this pattern to you a little yesterday now we will see how these are made so well for example you know the verb for write to write kaku ka ku the dictionary form or the plain form is kaku over here ka ki mas i'm sure you remember this so well how will you make it kaku ka ite ka ite so in ku it will be ite or kiku ki ite that's how it's going to be then gu nugu nu gu over here nu ide this is going to be used nu ide kudasai nugu means to remove bu tobu 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 means to fly now we remove this over here and to unde kudasai then we have su hanasu over here ha na shite kuda sai now mu this verb you have done you've been doing yomu to read or nomu yomu to read and nomu to drink over here. So well, yonde and nonde. Kuda sai. Then we have nu, shinu, shinde. Su, matsu. or motsu will be matte or motte t t e then we have two vowels over here this is also simple this follows the normal pattern t t e pattern these two au or kau you know these two atte kudasai and katte kudasai so you will see there are lot of exceptions the general pattern for group 1 is tte but as i told you yesterday you have ite you have nde 
you have I D E, you have S H I T E also in group 1. This is all te form for you, you can do it. Please remember when you are making te form, then always the dictionary form is very, very important for group 1. Now, we did te kudasai yesterday, verb in te form plus kuda sai for group 1 and group 2 and group 3. Now, today I want to do something new, something more interesting. For example, for group 2 it is tabete kuda sai, tabete kuda sai means please eat or yonde kuda sai. For example, I ask you and say dozo mina san yonde kuda sai from the sheet that I have given you yonde kuda sai. So, what does it mean? It means that please read. It is a request I am making for you to please read or do as the verb is saying. Now, te form actually by using te form you say a lot of things, you can express better, you link sentences and in short you say a lot of things. As you will see now, this is simple yonde kudasai, please read. But if I just add another te form over here, yonde mite kudasai, tell me what it means. What do you think it is? Yonde mite kudasai. I have put te form, verb in te form plus another te form plus kuda sai. So, what does it mean? Can someone tell me? Well, yonde kudasai is very simple. Please read. And yonde mite kudasai, mite is coming from mimas. Yonde Mite kudasai, please read and see is what it means. In a similar manner, you can have tabete mite kudasai, please eat and see. You can also have kaite mite kudasai. You have done the te form, so you can join two te forms and put kudasai over here and request. In this pattern, mite is to be kept in mind. First, te form plus always mite kudasai. Please read and see, eat and see, go and see, check and see, write and see, listen and see. So, anytime, tabete mite kudasai. This is what we are going to do. We are going to practice it now and feel more comfortable. Now, there is a small radio conversation. Listen to this conversation. Now, as I have told you about te kudasai, te plus te kudasai, both, this conversation will become very, very simple. Let us hear first. Tanaka san no oto san no mise wa nan no mise desu ka? Denki sehin no mise desu.電子レンジやテレビなどがあります。エアコンもありますか。はい、エアコンもあります。今暑いから毎日10台ぐらい売ります。ぜひ店に来てみてください。そうですね。エアコンを買いたいから今度の週末に行ってみます。so well, what did you understand? I am sure it was very clear. Well, I will read it once again for you. This is a conversation between A and B. Hai. Tanaka san no oto san no mise wa nan no mise desu ka? Denki seihin no mise desu. Denshi renji ya terubi nado ga arimasu. Eakon mo arimasu ka? 
はいエアコンもあります今暑いから毎日10台ぐらい売りますぜひ店に来てみてくださいそうですねエアコンを買いたいから今度の週末に行ってみます。So well, it's a simple conversation. I'll explain a few things and then as we go ahead, we'll do the rest in class. Tanaka san no oto san no mise. Mise is a shop. Wa nan no mise desu ka? What do you sell over there? Denki sehin no mise desu. Denki is electrical and sehin is goods. No mise desu. Denshi renji, microwave and terubi, etc. Nado ga arimasu. There is denshi renji, there is terubi. Aircon mo arimasu ka? Air conditioners mo arimasu ka? Hai, aircon mo arimasu. 今暑いから毎日10台ぐらい。10台 is, 台 is the counter for counting big things ぐらい売ります。ぜひ店に来てみてください。ぐらい of course I think we have done and you know ぐらい is approximately for things and ぜひ means you must come ぜひ店に来てみてください。ぜひ食べてみてください。Please eat and see how it is. You must must eat and see how it is. ぜひ映画を見てください。Please watch the film. So well, that's how ぜひ is to be used. そうですね。エアコンを買いたいから I want to buy. Thus, 今度の週末に the weekend, the coming weekend に行ってみます。I will go and see. I will come to your shop. You can also add this polite verb. You have done it last time. いらしてください。ぜひいらしてください。行ってください。polite for 行ってください。or 来てください。来る or 行く is いらっしゃる。E-R-A-S-S しゃる。That is the plain form of the verb for 来る and 行く。polite is いらっしゃる。You have done more polite verbs, one you did last time and some you have done earlier for ageru, sashi ageru, for morau, itadaku, for taberu, meshi, Agaru. So, I hope you remember this for these verbs over here. These are the polite verbs to be used to seniors, to people higher in rank or in a formal situation. Always try to use these verbs, it is important and it shows. That you have done Japanese properly. Well, let us see what we have next. This is all in the script, as you can see, and you can see this is this is katakana for all foreign words. You will have katakana for names. You will have kanji, and also you will have kanji characters like this. Then you have hiragana also with kanji. So, kanji, hiragana, katakana all are used together in the script. Thus, it is essential that we learn all three. And of course, this is the explanation as you would 
say in English, not an exact translation. Well, let us practice zehi mise ni kite mite kudasai or zehi mise ni irashite kudasai. So, well, this is what you had in your conversation. So, we have sensei teaching in class and suru. So, sensei no koto o kite kudasai. Please listen to what sensei is saying. Then, nihongo o benkyo shite kudasai. You can have these two situations. Also, dozo hanashite kudasai. Then, nihongo o benkyo shite mite kudasai. Please learn, read, and see how Japanese is. Then we have kaku. Someone is writing something over here. Koko ni namae to jusho o kaite kudasai. Koko ni over here. Namae is name. To jusho is address o kaite kudasai. A simple request. Noto ni kanji o kaite mite kudasai. Koko ni noto ni notebook ni kanji o kaite mite kudasai. And then hiragana de kaite mite kudasai. Write it in hiragana and C. So, this is how you can practice. There can be n number of situations like this. You can make them up on your own. Jibun de kaite mite kudasai. You can also have another one here. Jibun de kaite mite kudasai. Enpitsu de kaite mite kudasai. You can also have this. Why do not you try and write it in pen or in pencil? So, all these can be there. There is another practice for you. Let us see what it is. Well, again, kaku once more. Enpitsu o tsukatte kudasai. Please use a pencil. Enpitsu de kaite kudasai. Please write with a pencil. Enpitsu de kaite mite kudasai. So, please write and see in pencil. There could be a situation. Write and see whether it works all right or not, whether it is clear or not. Enpitsu de kaite mite kudasai. Then we have these two people here and you can see a denwa over here, a phone over here. Let us see what they are saying. Sensei ni denwa o shite kudasai. Please talk to your teacher. Sensei uchi ni iru ka, inai ka, denwa shite mite kudasai. You have done this form ka and ka together where the first ka is or and the second ka is a normal question. Sensei uchi ni iru ka, inai ka. Is sensei present or is not present? Then wa de kite mite kudasai or then wa shite mite kudasai. Then we have Tomodachi to denwa de hanashite kudasai. Please talk to your friend on phone and denwa de hanashite mite kudasai. If you have a problem, denwa de hanashite mite kudasai. Or denwa de kite mite kudasai. Please ask on phone. There could be another situation. So, well, you can practice. You have these pictures over here. You can practice on your own. Think up of a situation and use te kudasai or verb in te form plus mite kudasai. Now, we did ya in the conversation and you have done to earlier. To and you know to means and when you join noun 1 and noun 2 and noun 3 and whatever is present say there are 10 things present over here you will have to list all 10 things present show all 10 things name all 10 things and use to with it this to but if it's a very very large number if it's a 
lot of things somewhere, what do you do? You cannot list all of them. So, what do you do? Well, to do that you will use particle ya. Now, what does ya do? Ya also does exactly what to does, it also means and, but noun 1 ya, noun 2 ya, noun 3 nado, meaning there is noun 1, there is noun 2 and there is noun 3 and lot of other things. So, basically it lists a few of the main things, few of the main things that are there present and etcetera is used in the end and so on is used in the end. As you can see is listed over here, when we practice you will know well a to b to c to d to and so on till everything is mentioned and with ya, a ya b ya c nado where nado means and so on or etcetera. So, you can see a san ya b san ga kimashita meaning that a and b came and some others also did come and hea ni tsukue ya hondana nado ga arimasu. So, in the room there is table, there is a bookshelf and there are other things as well. I am only listing some of the few. So, that is what it means with particle ya. Now, you can practice particle ya, it is very simple, it is easy to use and not exhaustive. For example, you have this picture over here, someone is pointing at something, there are a lot of things on the table, well let us see what it is. Tsukue no ue ni nani ga arimasu ka? Can someone tell me? Nani ga arimasu ka? Well, there are a lot of things, you have done all these, you know the names of these things, you can list them. Tsukue no ue ni pen to tokei to kaban to techou to hon to jishoto noto to passport to ga arimasu. So, you see you have to name all the things that are present over here. But, if we are using ya, what happens? Again the same picture you have and tsukue no ue ni nani ga arimasu ka? Tsukue no ue ni tokei ya passport to ya jisho nado ga arimasu. So, you are just naming a few main things and not naming the others. That is understood that there are other things as well. You can practice now once again. You have these things on your table. Well, there are a number of things I can see. Tsukue no ue ni nani ga arimasu ka? Tsukue no ue ni gohan to pan to sakana to tamago to yasai to kuki to kudamono to niku ga arimasu. So, you have to list each and everything, but now if we look at this picture, what happens now? Tsukue no ue ni nani ga arimasu ka? Well, Tsukue no ue ni yasai ya kudamono ya niku nado ga arimasu. Yasai, kudamono and niku is the three things that we mention and the rest is understood that of course, there are other things as well. So, now you can practice with your partner, point at a place which has lot of things and then you can practice to, you can practice ya. Now, in our conversation we had judai urimas. So, dai is the counter for counting big things. You can count machinery, you can count cameras, you can count furniture, you can count cars, vehicles by this counter which is 
dai. So, well let us practice once what dai is. You can repeat after me ichi dai, ni dai, san dai, yon dai, go dai, roku dai, nana dai, hachi dai, kyu dai, ju dai and of course, how will you ask how many nan dai. So, this is the kanji over here after the numbers you can add dai simply there are no exceptions in this case. So, it is simple to remember ichi and dai and nana and dai. So, we have dai over here now let us see what we have for you. Well, there are a number of buses over here ichi ni san shi go roku. So, what is the question? Well, bus wa nan dai arimasu ka? Roku dai arimasu or you can say roku dai desu. Then we have so many cars over here. Well, 3 and 3 6 and 3 9. So, how many of them in all? Kuruma wa nan dai arimasu ka? Kyu dai arimasu or kyu dai desu. One thing I just would like to tell you is when you are practicing, please repeat everything as it is. It is not given over here in that manner, but please when you ask a question kuruma wa nan dai arimasu ka, please say kuruma wa kyu dai arimasu or kuruma wa kyu dai desu. Simple reason is that initially in the beginning it is always better to practice like this. You can revise, you can get used to the sounds, you can remember all the vocabulary that is being done and later on once you are comfortable then you can just reply in a simple manner as is given over here. Well, the third picture is we have few TVs over here. Terbi wa nan dai arimasu ka? San dai arimasu or terebi wa san dai desu. So, this is how you can practice. Now, as I always do, we will do some kanji because we have been doing a lot of lot of new things, learning a lot of new things, lot of vocabulary, lot of new words. We will do simple kanji today, very very simple character, a very simple character which you already know and we have done a lot of words with this. The character is you can see over here, it is hana, hana you already know is a flower, hana. So, well that is how it is made, one, two, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Please remember it is a 7 stroke character Hana and what can you remember from Hana? Well, one word that you know is hanaya, hanaya san, a flower shop. Another word that you know is hanami, which you, you did a couple of lessons back, which is viewing cherry blossoms. And today we will do ikebana. Ikebana is, of course, the art of arranging flowers which is very famous and known all over the world. We will do that today. This first character that you see over here, you have already done. This means to live or to be born and hana is flower. It is ike bana. There are some words 
Kusabana is flowering plant. Hanaya, as I told you just now, is a flower shop. Hanami, you have already done, is viewing cherry blossoms or sakura blossoms. And Hanabi, which is a new word, is fireworks. And why fireworks? Because, because the fireworks that you see generally comes out as a flower. Hana B. So, this is a new uh, word for you, fireworks. This character you have done, this means fire. Well, now katakana for you as we always do, this is basically for you to learn the stroke order. Sometimes we forget the stroke order and though of course, you can write the characters, it is not such a big thing, you can write the characters, but when you are actually writing in Japanese, then going to the next character becomes a little difficult if your stroke order is not proper. So, well, we have ta series, ta, you can see the stroke order clearly, chi, chi, ichi, ni and san, chi, then tsu. As you can see, tsu starts from the top, so 1, 2 and 3. Then we have te 1, 2 and 3. You can see how angular they are, how pointed they look, because these characters have been made, have come from kanji characters, which are actually lines and very, very angular. So, well, katakana is very masculine, and on the other side, hiragana is quite feminine. To similar to shita without that horizontal line. So, you have all of them over here in front of you. You can practice this at home and feel more comfortable. Now, what does this look like? You have a well, you have this small living creature over here, which looks like a frog and this is a kotovaza. Kotovaza is a saying, a proverb. So, well, what does it look like? Can you tell me? Does it remind you of something? Does it remind you of a proverb in Hindi or in English? Well, that is exactly what it is. You will read over here now. Ino naka no kawazu. Taikai o shirazu. E is ido, which is a well. Naka is inside, and kawazu is the kairu over here, the frog over here. Taikai is a big, large uh, water body or the world, you could say. O shirazu does not know. So, well. I no, I no naka no kawazu taikai o shirazu, meaning that people generally judge others as is given over here from their own experiences. Well, this is very true. You judge people from what you have done, you have seen your own experience, but that does not mean that you should not learn more. You should not be like this frog very happy where he is, not even knowing that there is a big world outside, that there are people who are greater than you, people who are more knowledgeable than you, there are bigger things than this well. So, please everybody should come out of their zones and try to learn more, try to see the world more and try to understand that there is much, much more than what you have seen. So, well for us also here, we are doing Japanese, 
we should learn as much as we can and not be very happy and content that this is all. There is much, much more to learn, many, many more things to know about. So, we should all try to do that. E is a well, Taikai is ocean or a water body, Naka you already know and Shirazu means do not know. So, well try to, try to learn as much as you can. There are lots and lots of things to learn. One of them we will do right away after this vocabulary section. Well, abunai means dangerous, e is a well, taikai is ocean or a water body. Shiru is to know, shirazu means do not know. Nyugaku is joining school and shiki is the ceremony where you go to school, you get a lot of things and it is a big, big thing in Japan. In April, children join school and their parents give them lot of money, lot of good things because they are going to school and Kawazu is a frog. So, well, as I told you, there is lots to learn. There are lot of things we do not know about. So, well, one of them, what does this look like? What, what do you think when you look at this picture? This is a picture of some flowers and someone doing something with the flowers. What is it? Well, there are more of these pictures. You see this flower decoration, a special way of decorating flowers. This is called ikebana. There is, there is more. You can see there are some twigs and something has been put together, some bamboo sticks are there, some flowers, some seeds done up in a way nicely. It looks beautiful. Not too many flowers, but well, it still looks pretty. So, what is it? It is Ikebana, the very, very famous art of decorating flowers in Japan. That is called Ikebana playing with living plants, living flowers is Ikebana. Now, Ikebana is, is, a, is, is a traditional art form of Japan. It is arranging flowers beautifully. All of it is given over here. There are two kanjis to it. Ikeru means to live and Hana as we already did is flower which is Bana over here. Why it is important or why it has become such a big thing is because it is a very disciplined art form. Even though it does not look as if it is being done in a very disciplined, organized, systematic manner, it has lot of things that have to be kept in mind, lot of things that need to be looked into and covered when you are doing ikebana. And each arrangement itself is unique every time you make a flower arrangement, the, the arranger decides as to what he wants to make and then that arrangement is made and the feeling is conveyed through the arrangement. Now, it is very interesting that Ikebana was not there initially in Japan and it has come from actually India and how it has come from India is very interesting because Buddhism went to Japan from India. And in India, we have a tradition of decorating the deity or decorating the altar with flowers. As you can see over here, and this thought went with Buddhism to Japan and the Buddhist priests started decorating the altar of Buddha with flowers. Slowly, slowly over, over a period of time, it became, it developed into this art. Initially, the priests in Japan would be decorating the um, altar. They would be teaching how to decorate flowers over there, how to decorate the deity with the uh, flowers. 
but slowly others took over and then it became into a big big art form. Now, the basic construction of Ikebana is a triangle and basically meaning heaven, earth and man and that is how you would decorate your flower arrangement. All the time I will show you the um, pictures and you will see that there is a triangle all the time and it is not just about flowers being put in a bowl or in a, in a vase. How they are put, what is behind decorating, what is behind the arrangement, what flowers you will use, what kind of uh, other objects or decorating material you will use to make the arrangement is also very important. And there is lot of patience involved in doing ikebana and less is more. The, the, the arrangement generally has a lot of empty space, very few flowers are used, lot of twigs are used, there are different styles and specially space is left for imagination. So, that is the most important part. And another very important part about Ikebana is that it gets you, brings you close to nature. So, there are a lot of things mentioned over here, you can read it and you can look at these pictures, there are different styles of Ikebana, very few flowers, how they are arranged, you can see the, the slant, the twist and it is always very beautiful. The simpler it is, the better it looks, that is the concept of Ikebana. So, well you can see they decorate it like this also with lot of other things. In some cases sand is a must, in some cases twigs are a must, leaves are a must. Sometimes it is only flowers, sometimes it is only green leaves. You can see over here these leaves are there, very few flowers. Then it is done up only with flowers. You have these stems pointing with no flowers on top. So, all these, these, this is all ikebana, fruits are there you can see, the so, different kinds of ikebana, different kinds of decoration and brings you close to nature and teaches you patience, that is the most important part of ikebana. So, well you can read lots more on the net, these pictures are also from the net, from Wikipedia. You can go look it up, the links are there and now is your time you have to do your assignments, you have to go over what we have done today. Well, choose the correct options. So, there is fill in the blanks, then do your kanji, again use proper verb forms over here. Look at the pictures and tell what they are doing or what they are not doing and well, you have your counters to do. So, there are lot of things that you have to do today. Go home, practice all of this, do it loudly with your partner, feel comfortable and try to use it in conversation as much as you can. So, well, till our next class. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.